Hey guys, it's Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. Today we're going to do a little cheeky upcycling project. Um, computer keyboards. Every household's probably got two or three lying in a cupboard or in the shed. I collect e-waste here, as many of you know, and keyboards get dropped in all the time. This is a pretty standard Microsoft one, USB cord. Um, I do sell them in the shop, but I only put a couple of dollars on them and I get, I get more quantity than what I can actually sell, even at a couple of dollars each. Scrap value, well, there's only a cord. It's not worth taking the keyboard apart. In my opinion, it's 95% plastic. There is a, a mylar plastic sheet in there, which I believe has some traces of silver, but the effort to get it out is not not worth um, any, any return, really. Um, so what are we going to do with it? All right, well, I thought of this little project. I did actually do a Google search and didn't see any, so I don't know that it's my idea necessarily, but... I haven't seen them before. It's a keyboard, right? These are keys. Let's make a keyboard out of a keyboard. Okay, this is a quick project. Won't take long to do. It's a bit of, bit of a novelty, but uh, let's have a bit of fun. All right, so we don't need the cord. And as I said before, that's really the only value scrap-wise in the keyboard anyway. So we'll put that in the scrap bins. Now, we don't really need to do much preparation. I'm just going to drill a few holes in this bottom section. And for a bit of fun, we'll just rearrange some keys. And then all I've got is a couple of picture frame hangers. Uh, these are some hooks that I've got. And uh, that's all we need to do the job. Okay, I just found a drill bit that's um, slightly smaller than the thread on these hooks. Uh, I figured we'll drill five holes. We'll go one in the center, one each end, and then two in between each. I'll just do it by eye. I'm not going to be fussy. And then we can screw the hooks in. There we go. Now it's just a matter of screwing these into the holes. And just tightening them up with a pair of pliers. The plastic's thick enough so that they're going to be quite strong. You just need to be careful not to over tighten them though, or they will strip out. So there we go. We've got our hooks in. We just need to put our um, hangers on the back. Now I've got a couple of screws that I've pulled out of something. I like to reuse hardware wherever I can. Uh, again, I'll use a fine drill bit just to start where I want the holes to go and the screws will thread into the plastic nicely. Uh, also just guess where to fit them. That should be fine there. You won't be able to see these anyway from the front. There we go. And I'll just do these up by hand rather than the drill so that it doesn't strip the plastic. Easy done. Couple of hangers. Because of the profile of this keyboard, you probably won't see them hanging on the wall. We could use some picture frame wire, but I think I'd rather just put a couple of screws in the wall and it'll hang much flatter against the surface and it won't wobble as much when you're taking your keys on and off. One last thing to do, have a bit of fun with the keys. There we go. And to make that stand out, we'll just use a texter and I'll blank out all the ones we don't want. There we go. So the text is a bit, um, bit shiny. You could probably use black paint if you wanted to. but uh, And it may not necessarily stand out. It'd be pretty cool if you got some white letters off a, uh, a white keyboard. But look, it's 
bit of quirkiness, so we'll go and hang it up on the wall. And there we go, all installed, just in a couple of minutes. Our very own custom-made keyboard. Keyboard. I put a couple of screws into the timber there, and the good thing with those screws is that the thing's pretty stable, whereas if you had it on a, a picture frame hanging wire, it'd swing around a bit. So that's all we need to do. We can hang up our keys. You could um, you could label them if you wish on the black section next to the hook. Um, perhaps you could get inventive and find a few keys that spell out car or house, perhaps. But um, there you go. How's that look? Pretty cool, I reckon. So I hope you've enjoyed this upcycling project. I'll try and come up with some more quirky ones. I like trying to reuse stuff rather than throw it out. And as I mentioned earlier, there's not much value in keyboards as far as reselling. So uh, there, share this around. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate some comments. And I'll see you in the next video.